So today I am joined by Marat Gregorian, who is back this Friday at One Friday Fights 58 to take on Superbon for the third time. Interim featherweight kickboxing championship on the line in this one in the main event. Um, Marat, before we get to Superbon, I want to touch quickly on your fight with Sitachai from earlier this year. Um, that win I, I thought was very impressive. I'm sure it felt good to to get a win over him again, considering your rivalry with each other. Um, did you expect that this fight would be next after beating Sitachai? Because I think a lot of people assumed that this would be on the cards. Yes, I was already expecting this because the, there is no one left on this league. And uh, yeah, after we we two, we both had a, a title fight. So it, it goes for him. And now uh, we are about free. So it was a little bit, yeah. Mm. I was expecting that. How is it for you to jump into, you know, like th this division, you know, the top of it is so stacked with you, like that group of guys, including yourself, including Super Bond, Sitichai, Chingiz as well, that are just, you know, yeah. th you guys are some of the best on the planet. So it always seems like, you know, you're constantly, it is like a little bit of a, a round robin tournament between you guys. Like, how is it to go from, fighting Sitachai, who, of course, you've fought many times, to then going into, you know, another fight against an opponent that you know very well. And, you know, obviously we'll talk a little bit about potentially fighting Chingiz again as well. Like, how is it going into these rematches where you know these guys so well? You know, the rivalry, it's, uh, it's counting you. And uh, it goes really, like, every year it goes farther and further. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's nice, you know. We are always doing do, doing our best, so uh, that's the important things. We are still on the top. We are proving always that we are really one of the best fighters of the world. So that's nothing that normal that we uh, come again together to fight each other. So I think the the interesting thing about this fight with Superbon is because of the last two where you've both got a win over each other in a lot of people's heads i think we've seen you know the two ways that this plays out in terms of uh the last fight that you had where Superbon was able to keep the range very well and then the first fight you had where you were able to close that distance and, and put the pressure on him early like is that how you see it as well that those are the kind of the two things and we've kind of seen the way that if this fight goes your way how what can happen and we've also seen you know Superbon have his night as well uh you know the last time with Superbon I had uh not get a recovery day so my body was very slow I was really slow because uh yeah I was not functioning well, but it's, it's not an excuse. I lost that fight clearly, and uh, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my patent, and uh, I just just need to focus for the fight to recover well and to sleep good. Then uh, I'm sure it will be good. Good night for me. Is there a, a whole lot when you look back at that? last fight with Superbon at 1x that you can like in terms of preparing for this one and learning from that fight is it a case of making big changes or small adjustments that you think were the difference on that night yes uh, we train a lot of uh, movements some different game plan as well so uh, yes it would be an action action for night yeah, I, I mean, I think a lot of people, you know, like I said, considering the last two fights that you guys have had, people are excited for this one, especially, I think, off of that win that you had over City Chai, where, you know, that is what people, you know, have come to expect from watching you fight anyway. Um, but to get that to really build to this, it, it feels, you know, like the perfect way to do this trilogy fight, right? Like, does it feel bigger to you in any way? Because I'm sure, you know, you guys fighting each other is going to be big no matter how many times we see it. But this one really feels like it is built up over the years to this peak trilogy. Yeah. I'm now more prepared well in the mental uh, men mental case. I'm more stronger, I think, because uh, on the past, I had a little bit difficult, difficult time with my uh, private life. Now it's everything going well. And uh, yes, that's a big thing, you know. Because my body is very strong, just on this level, you need to be have a clear mind, mindset, you know, and that's what I have now. I and uh, I found myself back, so 
the you can see it also on on the fights when you oh. are a column in your in your in your head so the fights are also different so i'm uh, focused for this fight it'll be a good fight for me also on this card obviously it's a it's a big one um there's some some very big names on this card with you guys headlining it um one of the things i love about the way that this has been put together is the the top two fights the two title fights we've got yourself and jonathan de bella both going into enemy territory in some sense taking on you know a huge thai world champion um how do you see that fight going? Like, are you excited for that one between Dabella and Praj and Chai? Because I, I think it's exciting that, you know, you've got these two big Thai names and then they're taking on yourself and, and Dabella in that co-main event. Yes, the Thai fight, fighters are also doing and doing good. It was always uh, a fight against Thai fighters, against the, all the European guys around the world. So it's always exciting uh, what they can what they can do on that night, you know? Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, without looking past Superbomb, because this fight feels huge on its own, but it is for the interim title. And so you would imagine that, you know, winning this fight is a is a golden ticket to a rematch with Chingiz, which obviously, you know, only happened last year. In terms of, you know, the performance against Chingiz last time around, like, I suppose similar question to how you're approaching this fight with Superbon. Is it little changes again that if you were going to, you know, with the interim title, go on to face Alazov in a rematch? Is it just little tweaks again? Because, like I said, you guys are so high level that it really feels like any of you could beat each other on any given night. And we've seen that happen, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, now, my only focus is for Superbon. And after that, uh, we will see what's going to happen. But the thing is, yeah, now only super bond that's it in my mind. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Marat, thank you so much for your time on Fight Week. Uh, I can't wait for this one. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I'm sure you're excited to get back to Lumpini and do your thing. So, uh, yeah, all the best, my friend. And, uh, yeah, I will hopefully catch up with you after. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing what's next for you after this one. Thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. Have a good time and I will catch you later.